Okay. We're looking a little crazy, but you know, I literally just woke up, so what do you expect? Hey, good morning. I just posted that vlog yesterday, and so many of you guys loved it, and that makes me so excited because I definitely enjoyed making it. And yeah, I'm super excited about what's to come. Yeah, I got a little late start to my day. I usually get up around like 8.30ish, I think. And then I honestly wait till my mom leaves the house. I don't know. I just like to get up and do my own thing. I don't really like to socialize in the morning. I don't know if you guys can relate. My mom literally just left. Maybe that just makes me an asshole, but I don't know. I like to go upstairs and make my breakfast and just kind of stay to myself, I guess. So I'm going to go upstairs now and make some breakfast. Um, I hope you all are having a great start to your Monday. I told myself this morning about five times I'm going to have a good day. I'm going to have a good day. So hopefully that is true. I just got upstairs and <laughs> you guys know that I have birds and they're just always so loud. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna see what we have to eat. Maybe she got some bagels. She loves being involved in everything all the time. And of course, we're not, we're not seeing any bagels. Oh good, she just bought some new eggs, so maybe I'll have some eggs. Oh, we don't really have any good fruit. Look at her. She's crazy. Um, I see some bacon back here. Maybe we'll have some eggs and bacon. I normally just have one egg in the morning. I'm not a big egg person. I honestly just like douse them in ketchup. It kind of makes it taste a little better. But yeah, I wish I had like something else to go with it. Like an English muffin or something, but I was not seeing any English muffins. And... Maybe I could just do a piece of toast with butter. Oh my god. Sorry if you can't really see me, but I'm just gonna make my eggs. I use like this little container. The bird is on me now. Um, so yeah, let me just crack my egg. So I have my egg, and then I do put a little bit of milk in there. And then I also put in some salt and pepper. And a whisk oh and whisk it up. Oh my god, she's so loud. Sorry if that bothers you guys. Oh. I already turned on the stove for my bacon. Um I love this bacon. Oh, there's only three pieces. It's okay. Um so yeah, I'm gonna throw my eggs and bacon on the stove and throw my toast in and I will see you guys when it's done. I got my eggs in the pan, my bacon cooking, as well as my toast. All right, shh, quiet down. I made my breakfast. I kind of burnt my um, bacon a little bit, but you know, it's still gonna be good. And then I have some, all right, it's so loud in my ear. Oh my God. Um, I have some Diet Coke because I am fiending for some Mountain Dew or some Red Bull right now, but I don't feel like going out right now, so. All right, you're gonna have to get off my shoulder if you're gonna be screaming in my ear. Whew. Yeah, I'm just gonna eat now. I don't know, do you guys wanna see me eat? I don't know. Um, I got some ketchup. I literally put so much ketchup like on my eggs. I still love you, but it's like so freaking loud in my ear. I can't like concentrate. All right. I'm gonna have some bacon. So good. Let's try some eggs. I did put, all right, I can't, I can't deal. All right, ow! Her foot just got caught in my hair. I did put some salt, in, more salt than I normally put in my eggs. To make it taste less eggy, egg just kind of grossed me out, to be honest with you. Like, I don't have trouble eating, like, a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich, but, like, plain scrambled eggs kind of grosses me out a little bit. Not sure why. 
Oh my god, I, I like totally look like a mess and I'm kind of self-conscious about it, but I'm trying. I'm trying to put myself out there a little more. I don't know. You guys gave me such a positive response on my video yesterday and I was just so happy. I woke up. The video got posted at like 8 something I want to say. And like I was just so tired so I read a few comments before I went to bed and I like liked them and stuff. But I didn't get like the full response from you guys but this morning I was like so overwhelmed reading them and I was like oh my god like everybody loves it and I'm super excited for you know a little change on my channel but as I said I'm still gonna be filming ASMR and all that stuff but yeah she never ever eats my food today She's trying to eat my toast. Bacon? Not a fan of the bacon. She likes to peck at the toast. Maybe if I don't watch her, she'll do it. Mmm. Is that good? You like the toast? Okay, now she's stepping all over my toast. Um, so after this, what time is it? It's like 10, I think, right now. Did you just poop on me? I think she did. Oh, look at her. She's literally in my plate. All right. Not sure what's going to happen after this. I'm going to go focus on eating my food. So, finished my breakfast. It was really, really good. Um, I'm happy that I made it. Um, right now, I'm just going to kind of get my room together, make my bed. I always feel like... When my room's kind of like not put together, it's so hard for me to like actually get things done and it just makes me feel better. Always, my thing is always make your bed in the morning. It, I always say it helps me sleep better when my bed's made. Getting into a fresh made bed is so nice and I just love it. So I'm gonna quickly put together my bed, put some things away. Um, I'm probably gonna shower because look at me. Um, and yeah we'll see what goes from there all right so my room is put together a little bit I wanted more. to um ask you guys so i'm pretty sure my bed okay so i think i've explained this before but me and my boyfriend do not fit comfortably sleeping wise on my full mattress bed so i decided to get a twin and make it one ginormous bed and i'm pretty sure that with these two mattresses mattresses together it makes a cali king bed because i tried to fit a king sheet on the whole bed and it did not fit so i think that means that it's a cali king um and I honestly don't think that they have Cali King um, sheets at like Target or Walmart. I really don't think so. I should check. But if you guys have any recommendations for like, I'm going to start looking for comforters that fit like a Cali King. Um, so if you have any good suggestions on where to get like new comforters and stuff, cheap. I don't really want to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on comforters because I do go through my comforters kind of quickly. But if you guys have any recommendations on websites or anything on where to get nice comfy comforters, let me know. And also where to get like Cali King sheets because I feel like I never see um, Cali King sheets anywhere. So I don't know, maybe I should do my own research, but if you guys have any good places on where to get sheets and comforters and stuff like that i also need to get some new pillows i've had these pillows for so long and i don't know they like don't take up the the whole bed so i definitely need some more um but yeah my room is somewhat more clean and i think all right guys so um i've just been chilling out in here for a little bit but i just got my nails on super cute um I don't even know what brand these were. Let's see. Nail Bliss. I don't think I've ever had these um, this brand before. Um, I think they're cute. I guess. <laughs> we will see how long they last. They ha do have some um, gems on them. So we will see if they stay on. But yeah. 
I am going to go in now and take a shower, get ready for the day. It is really, really windy and like kind of painfully cold, so I don't know if I'm gonna get a walk in. Um, I really, really wanted to, so maybe I'll push myself and like bundle up, but we will see. And Gabby does have like coats and stuff, so I'm not really worried about her being cold. Um, but I am kind of a baby when it's cold out. Hey guys, so I just got out of the shower. I would just kind of get ready, um, I guess, with you guys. We did this yesterday with you guys, but I'm putting my Miracle Moist Intense, Intense Hydration Oil in my hair. Um, so the first thing that I always do is put on my eye cream and my moisturizer. I've actually been so good about moisturizing my face, um, and it definitely has made a difference in my skin definitely i've always been good about moisturizer and i think it's so important to moisturize your face and it's just going to make such a difference as you grow older your skin is just going to be so nice use the neutrogena hydro boost eye cream and then i also use the neutrogena hydro boost water gel moisturizer this stuff is awesome I, it is pricey but it's literally like the only <laughs> pricey products that I ever get and it is drugstore it's not like you have to get it at Sephora or anything I honestly never go to Sephora I don't know about you guys but um yeah I don't even maybe it's like $26 I don't know about you that's kind of expensive to me <laughs> but yeah I really like it and it makes my skin feel so nice and dewy and it helps a lot with my dry skin First thing that I do is concealer. I never ever really wear, um, what is it, foundation. It's the CoverGirl Clean Invisible um, Concealer. And I just do like under my eyes, on some dots right here, right here, right here. I don't do much. I mean, actually it kind of looks like a lot, but it really isn't compared to like... When people do foundation, I feel. I use this, uh, what is this? Real Techniques, uh, what is this called? Expert Face Brush. Sometimes I do use a, be a beauty blender, but I am just not feeling it. And this honestly does the job every time. So, you guys are probably gonna tell me I'm like doing this wrong, but some of you guys are probably horrified how I do this but I don't know it works for me it covers up blemishes that need to be covered up I just put on a little bit of powder you know make it a little matte under my eyes above I kind of just put this shit everywhere to be honest with you everywhere just rub it in you know good to go do my eyebrows so my eyebrows oh it's kind of a sensitive topic <laughs> um so many people like shit on my eyebrows all the time and i don't know i sometimes they're thick sometimes they're thin i don't know i pick my eyebrows a lot i pick the hairs out of my eyebrows it's like a bad habit i do especially when i'm anxious um and also i over pluck a lot like once i start plucking like i just want to pluck all my eyebrow hair hairs off. Use the NYX little duo eyebrow cake powder and then I just take a spoolie, brush them out a little bit and then use the other end. Don't match at all and I just really don't care to be honest with you guys. Good enough for me. And then the last thing I do is obviously mascara. Use the Maybelline Colossal mascara. This one is by far my favorite. I love the skinny brush and the curve to it. And that is literally what I do for makeup daily, kind of. Um, and then I just add some chapstick. This is my new Blistex uh, Petal Soft. It is so nice. So these are my new pink joggers from Urban Outfitters. I love them. Um, and then I just have some fuzzy socks on because my feet were cold. But yeah, I am going to do my hair now. I'm probably just going to straighten it. I don't really feel like doing much to it, but yeah. All right, guys, so I just finished filming my 
YouTube video for the day. It wasn't honestly that long. I just really was not in the mood to film. I don't know. Don't know really what's going on with me today. Kind of just out of it a little bit. But um, we're going to keep moving through. Did film regular tapping and scratching video. I used some of the items that were in my 100k video it's because I didn't spend a lot of time on each of the products because you know there was a hundred items I had to get through and the video was already so long so I just kind of backtracked backtracked a little bit and refilmed with some of the items in case you guys wanted a little bit more of some of the items so yeah i am going to clean up all this put away all of my things and yeah i'm not really sure what i'm going to be doing after this i did want to clean my bathroom but like i'm like mm, do i really want to do that i should but do you think i'm going to don't know probably not we will see so I just got finished filming and I just got all of the dried towels out of my laundry room and I am just honestly, my mood has just completely like, it's like all over the place and I'm just not feeling motivated right now and yeah, it just sucks. Being bipolar sucks and I was so like ready to go this morning. I was happy and now I'm just like, oh, I just want to crawl into my bed and not move for several, several hours. But I clearly, obviously, I mean, I can do that, but I just don't want to. So um, I'm going to try to fold these towels and then hopefully... I know I am. I'm going to bring Gabby for a, look at her looking at me, a walk and um, maybe stop at the pet store and pick her up like a cute little treat type thing. Um, I've been trying not to spend money, but you know, maybe that will make me feel better buying her. Look, she knows when I'm upset. I swear to God. What? She's so freaking like, cute. How can you resist? How? She's so freaking cute and she's too small to like jump up on my couch. She's so cute, huh? What do you want? She's a good girl. She's a little biatch, but she's a good girl, right? It is freaking cold out, so I'm definitely going to be putting on like my winter jacket and stuff because it's freaking cold and Gabby does have a little jacket thing that I can put on her. Okay. Sorry, it's like kind of bright. Um, whatever. Come here, Gabby. So I just got my jacket on and I'm gonna put Gabby's jacket on. Not really sure where this is from, but um, uh, hopefully it's not too small. Come up here, see. Actually, sorry. Um, she actually hates when people put coats on her, but it is necessary today. Can you start moving? Come here, Gabby, up here. She is good to go. Show them your jacket. And her collar is in the car, so you will head outside. All right, I got my water. Uh, let me lock the door. Let's go outside. Oh my God, it's freaking cold. All right, let's get in the freaking car. All right, so we are in the car and it is honestly so cold out and I don't even know if we're gonna get a walk-in, but I am going to bring her to the pet store. Um, so that will give her something to do. Um, and we'll get her a nice little treat, right Gabby? All right, so I'm gonna head out. No, you sit, sit, sit. We just reached the pet store and somebody is very excited. So I'm gonna stop vlogging and just go inside. All right, so we just got back in the car. She was a little nervous in there, so I held her most of the time, but um, we got some little treats, so a sun glare, but um, yeah, it was, everyone loved her in there, and <laughs> everyone kept coming close to her, and I'm like, oh, I wouldn't, she's not, she's not really a friendly dog, um, she just really loves her family, I think that's what it is, like, she's very protective of me, and like the family, and I don't know. She's like sniffing down here. Come here. Sorry, I know you can't see her, but I'm trying to open this. And we actually got her from this pet store, Pets Plus, um, a couple years ago. Um, they normally don't sell dogs in there, but the guy who, um, manager or who runs the store, 
Um, oh my god. His dog had puppies and she was in there and my mom, she heard heard her crying. She's like, oh my god, I need to see what that dog looks like. Um, hold on. So she we just bought her. We went in for bird seed and we're like, we came out with the dog. So that's how we got Gabby. Um, so I got her like this little bone type thing. I want you guys to see her. That smell nice. And then we also, hold on, hold on, wait. And then I also got her a duck foot. She uh, loves these things. She does become a little bit aggressive with these. Um, so maybe we'll wait till we get home, but I'm gonna give her some of this treat. I'm gonna break this cookie up. Okay, so here she is, sit. Ooh, what is it? Oh, are we not a fan? You want a duck foot? I don't know, maybe <laughs> that was a fail. Maybe she just like will eat it when she gets home maybe. Um, Cause that was a little bit stressful in there for her, I think. So I'm gonna put this away and it is really too windy and too cold to go on a walk. So hopefully tomorrow or something we'll be able to do that. But yeah, I'm going to head home now and I'll talk to you guys when I get home. <laughs> so she has her cookie now and she's probably gonna go eat it somewhere. <laughs> or she is trying to hide it. But I decided I'm just going to go to McDonald's real quick. I don't really feel comfortable leaving her in the car and me running into the store or anything. Um, I don't know, I'm always scared that somebody's gonna steal her. So I'm just gonna go through McDonald's drive-thru. No, go sit down. I laid you a blanket down. Um, so I'm gonna go through McDonald's real quick and yeah. Are you a McDonald's rewards member? Hi, I'm not. Hey, what can I get for you today? Can I get a um, medium root beer? A medium root beer or anything else? Nope, that's it. First window, please. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, I can hear the bells going off. Hold on. Yep. Thank you. Oh, I should have got a shamrock shake. What was I thinking? So she still has not eaten her bone or anything yet. I feel like she's just waiting till we get home to eat it. Um, she looks kind of tired. Oh. Hmm. Was that stressful for you? I can hear the bells going off. There's like a, at 12, isn't 12? What time was it? Good day. Thank you, you too. My God, she kind of threw it at me. I thought I was gonna drop it. All right, let's go the Whoa. hell home. Hey guys, so um, I got home um a little bit ago it's like one now so um yeah i am going to start editing my video hopefully get both of these videos up today that's my plan my goal so i just finished oh my god i like i'm so dizzy i just finished editing both my videos it kind of took quite a while but you know whatever um and i'm kind of feeling a little icky and i take many showers a day it's not a good habit because it's not good for your skin and hair but sometimes i don't know it just feels like i'm washing off all the bad vibes all right guys so i just kind of put myself back together i've been thinking a lot about like my sheet situation my beds and i think i'm just gonna run to walmart and see if they have California King sheets. So that's a little bit of a bummer. Okay, guys. So sorry, the toilet's like running. I just flushed the toilet. But I just got home. Um, so I think I told you guys like it was a bust, but not a complete bust because I did 
get um, some things that I needed. Well, just two things, three things. Um, so the first thing that I needed was for my bathroom, I needed a toilet uh, bowl <clears throat> cleaner thingy majig. My mom also got me this method anti-back toilet cleaner. Um, she says this stuff is really awesome, so she gave it to me and I'm gonna use that to clean my toilet. Some Swiffer um, wet mopping cloths. So you like put it on the Swifter, Swiffer, Swifter, I don't know. And I just need to really, really clean these floors. They're disgusting and yeah. And then the last thing that I got, of course, was a Mountain Dew because I needed one. I needed one. So yeah, that is, this is probably gonna be like the last thing that I'm gonna do today. Um, it's around like two, no, it's three now. It's three and I'm kind of tired and I know I'm kind of gross wiping my nose on my hands. Um, but what was I gonna say? Oh, I do have a show that I've been watching. It's the Alan vs. Farrow documentary. I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but I really, really recommend it. It's about Woody Allen and Mia Farrow. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of that situation but it's really really good and really eye-opening and really sad but um yeah they come out with a new episode every sunday so i normally just watch that on mondays but yeah i've had a pretty good day i think i don't know you guys can let me know how my moods were today uh but yeah i am not really excited to clean my bathroom right now it's like my least least favorite thing to do but i do know it needs to be done i need to clean this shit so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i don't know um let me know what you think and i will talk to you guys tomorrow i love you all make sure you subscribe and i'll see you guys later